let's say, or is there a difference between the Western canon, let's say, and the latest woke nonsense? Now, I've used Grok a lot, and it's not as woke as chat GPT, but it's yeah. still woke. Like, it still deviates. In sure. the, so, so how are you, can you address that by, it's just a language model at the moment, let's say, if, if it also understood images, if it also it understood behavior. It, does. it actually does, does understand images at this point. Okay, and are those, are, is the language model and the image understanding, are they stacked on top of each other? Because I think that's partly how we triangulate psychologically, right? We have an imagination and we have a verbal module, yeah. but those things have to work in sync. And we also have... It certainly is intended to work in sync. Um, it's, you know, it, it is uh, intended to be what's called a multimodal model, which means understanding text, uh, Im images and video uh, and audio. Okay, if it understands video, will it start to understand behavior? Yeah. All this data that you've collected with your cars, so I've been wondering, I know Tesla is a car company, but when I look at what look you at do, AI I don't, company. yeah, well, exactly, well. yeah, well, maybe more, like those aren't cars, those are autonomous robots. Yeah, they're things. robots on four wheels, autonomous robots yeah. on four wheels, yeah, they just look like a car. Right, they're disguised <laughs> as a car disguised in a sense, car, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so what advantage do you have in training Grok? given that you have all this real-world data that you've gathered from your automobiles? Um, we haven't yet um, applied real-world video from Tesla to Grok yet. So I, I'm just, I do want to emphasize uh, XAI is a fairly new company. It's just a little over a year old. Um, so we, we really need, we have a lot of catching up to do to companies, relative to companies that have been around for five or 10 or 20 years. Um, we're catching up fast. I think the, the velocity of improvement of XAI is faster than uh, any other company out there. Um, we just completed the, um, we, just, we, we were just able to install and bring online um, a, a massive new training center that we, like, as I mentioned, we're building in, in Memphis. Um, and it's uh, from getting hardware installation to it beginning training was only 19 days. And that's the fastest by far that anyone's uh, been able to do that. So we're, we're, moving, we're moving quickly, but we're still catching up. And so if you use- Catching up to who? Well, catching up to, um, say, Gemini, uh, ChatGPT, Claude, yeah. uh, and the others. Um, so, and how do you feel that Grok? Uh, how, we're catching how, up fast. How do you feel that Grok performs, say, in relationship to ChatGPT now? Well, um, so the, the the Grok version that's been released is still based on Grok one version one training. Um, yeah. We've made several improvements, so it's sort of called Grok 1.5. Uh, but the foundation model of, of Grok is still uh, an order of magnitude uh, weaker than uh, ChatGPT. Um, oh, yes. So okay. it's, it's, doing, it's doing quite well, given that order of magnitude um, difference. And this new system, how powerful is it compared, let's say, to ChatGPT? Well, so uh, Grok 2 uh, actually finished training. Um, now, Grok 2 was training.